All right, so we are here again today. It's a little light today, but that's okay. We want to get through this book and get done before the new year because we got a new book that we're going to be reading. So tonight we're going to be going over chapter 12 and hopefully 13 and 14. We're getting started a little late because I forgot we had too much fun doing the vision board party yesterday. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I want to stop. Well, I guess I could leave that form up there. If you are joining us late in the game, I still have this form here for you to be able to fill out. Uh, now, you fill out the now before and then after Im implementation. And when I tell you, I've noticed some changes from when I filled out my form. So, really happy about that. All right. So, I'm going to start on chapter 12 and then I'll let you read the next chapter. Okay. Okay. Maybe somebody else will jump in. Hold on. Queen Angelica. But I'm on now. And then maybe whoever else can pop in will pop in. Okay. Chapter 12, LinkedIn groups. You may or may not find value in participating in LinkedIn groups. The key is to be strategic and smart about your time. Start by understanding groups and leverage your time and effort for maximum success. The benefits of being a group member on LinkedIn include expands your LinkedIn network, makes it easier for people to find you, find other people of like interests or professions, search members within the group by geography or industry or other filters. Hold on. Stop it. Why my I can't want to just dig on my chair? Ability to create a post within the group. Ability to engage with group member content. Messaging capability. Invite group members to connect. Invite connections to join the group. Ability to meet or e-meet group members or admins. Display the group on your profile. Oh, and that's it. So group classifications. LinkedIn groups are classified as either listed or unlisted. Listed groups are searchable. Both managers and members can invite or approve membership and standard groups. Unlisted groups are not searchable and membership is only available through manager invitation. A majority of your groups will be listed. Here's an example of a private unlisted group. This is Sandra's group for the LinkedIn Personal Best Club, which is members only. Sandra invites group members or sends them a special link to join. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Very. I wonder if LinkedIn groups is better than Facebook groups. That's what I was gonna ask. Hmm. Let's see. Five types of LinkedIn groups to consider joining. Oh, well, you know what? I am a part of my university alumni group. Me too. This, this. Mm -hmm. Your university alumni groups. These may be university managed or independent of your school. Some larger universities have dozens of groups to choose from, sometimes broken out by department, fraternities, and so on. Your organizations. The organizations you belong to probably have LinkedIn groups and Facebook groups. The group allows you to stay connected in between your monthly meetings. This might be Toastmasters, Chamber of Commerce, or BNI, for example. Community or geographic based groups. Search for these niche groups that might be available for you. This might be city or county specific for you, like Prescott Small Business Owners, etc. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna see if there's anything for my area with small business owners. Okay. Customer or prospect groups. Consider where your customers spend their time online. Find your target market in LinkedIn groups. Think about and research what kind of groups, estate planning attorneys, escrow officers, real estate agents, loan officers, et cetera, might be a part of. I'm just trying to get my notepad out. Well, I'm not upstairs where I usually am. Well, let's see. I'm going to check out LinkedIn groups. LinkedIn groups for my area. Okay. And notary association or networking groups. 
We found 185 groups on LinkedIn with the word notary. Below is a sampling of a few you might be interested in joining. Oh. Real estate, mortgage, title, and notary referral network. Oh. Notaries and notary signing agents. NNA notary general discussion group. NNA notary signing agent groups. I mean group. And NNA notary professionals group. In addition to national notary groups, you will find LinkedIn groups for notaries in various states, such as California, Texas, Massachusetts, and New York. Evaluate your group options. Now that you have found groups to join, it's time to prioritize the groups as they relate to your brand, goals, and network. Here are some questions to ask about each group you are considering. I'm gonna look up this real estate mortgage title and notary referral network. It's there. It is there. Oh, you just, you're on there now? Yep. Oh, let me open up another page. So usually when I'm upstairs in my office, I have the two monitors, mm -hmm. but I'm downstairs. Okay, let me look. I'm interested. Okay, so in the search. Real estate, oops, mortgage, title, and notary referral network. Groups. Oh, here it goes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I can join from my area. Okay. I just requested access. Cool. All right. Moving on. Let's see. Here are some questions to ask about each group you are considering. How many members are in the group? Who is the owner at or admin of the group? Is this someone I should connect with? Who belongs to this group? What professions do they represent? Are the conversations helpful and high quality? What are the group rules? Do the member posts uplift, inspire, or inform? Are they kind to each other and others outside the group? Post content to groups. You can post your content or third-party content into a group. In advance, look for the group rules as they pertain to content and follow them. Veering from the rules may put you into a more restricted status with all LinkedIn groups and managers. Here's generally good advice for any group. Don't post advertisements or information about your product or service. Don't post links unless the group allows it. Many groups with an overload of links and ads become very spammy. Yeah, like my old group. Instead, post helpful thought, leadership, questions, and comments. LinkedIn groups can help you be found on a search, find, or hire someone be noticed for your expertise and build a network. LinkedIn groups are part of the thought leadership opportunities available on LinkedIn. Before we move on to the content section, let's define thought leadership. You can absolutely become a thought leader by creating and sharing content on LinkedIn and other platforms. So let's take a look at this. According to Denise Grosso, or Grosso, the CEO of the Thought Leadership Lab, we can define thought leaders as informed opinion leaders and the go-to people in their field of expertise. They are trusted sources who move and inspire people with innovative ideas, turn ideas into reality, and know and show how to replicate their success. Over time, they create a dedicated group of friends, fans, and followers to help them replicate and scale their ideas into sustainable change, not just in one company, but in an industry, niche, or across an entire ecosystem. Wikipedia offers a more simplified definition that summarizes the role. A thought leader is an individual or firm that is recognized as an authority in a specialized field and whose expertise is sought and often rewarded. As you share your own journey, create compelling, informative, and inspiring content Start commenting and contributing on the content of others and grow your own expertise through experience. You, my friend, are a thought leader and influencer. All right. Jeez, that was very quick. 
I know, right? <laughs> okay. Chapter 13. Well, you want to talk about 12 before we move on to 13? It just makes me mostly talking about groups. Right. Groups and networking, mm -hmm. which um, I was not totally aware of. Like, I have seen the groups, but I didn't know that it was a thing. Yeah, me too. Not Not, like, for specific niches. I know for, like, if you're looking for like healthcare administration group, you'll find that. If you're looking for cybersecurity, you'll find that. But I didn't think it would be for notary types yeah. of things. Or for anything else uh, for that matter. I thought it was maybe just for fun. Mm -hmm. So that was good to know. My my area doesn't have anything specific. I don't know if yours probably will, but mm -hmm. I don't have any. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up and see. I do. I have my alumni, like you and I both mentioned earlier, but specific mm -hmm. to my particular area, no. Nope. Okay. We'll see. Okay. So, chapter 13 LinkedIn content intro. LinkedIn content leads to real conversations and genuine opportunities. Nearly every day of the year, Bill and Sandra know this from firsthand experience. Content leads to conversations, which is true, which in turn lead to collaborations, sales, interviews, and partnering. CEB, now part of Gartner, says that the average buyer spends 50% of their time online navigating their purchasing journeys before speaking to a seller. What are they doing instead? researching, reviewing profiles, reading articles and posts, checking websites, scouring company pages, and seeking advice from their network. Your content and engagement will position you well and early on. Hold up. What's on your mind after reading that last paragraph? Does it sound anything like yada yada Sandra and Bill? Who cares if the average buyer spends 50% of their time navigating their purchasing journey online? I am not in sales. I am a notary. We invite you to explore the idea that no matter what business or employment you're in, you are in sales. You may actually be selling a product or service, or you may be selling your expertise, your personality, or your lifestyle. As a mobile notary and loan signing agent, you do have a service you provide. So you have to find customers to actually use that service. That is sales. Sales are the lifeblood of any business because without clients or customers, i.e. sales, you don't have even have a business. Supercharger tip. Your LinkedIn content becomes a valuable part of your body of work. Your posts, articles, and videos reflect your brand and attract people to you. <laughs> Types of LinkedIn content. There are multiple content choices on LinkedIn and they all have unique characteristics. Posts or, ups or status updates. Posts appear in the home feed or might be featured. Posts may be straight text posts or include images, links, documents, or videos. Native video. Upload from a mobile phone or laptop. The videos would display as a post on the home feed and may not be featured. Learn more in chapter 15. Live hmm. video. Huh? Oh no, I just said, hmm. Hmm. That's not like Facebook. Um, I know, right? Yeah, live video. Do a live show on LinkedIn from your personal or company page. Learn more. I tried that once. I went live on my um on my business page before. How did, how live. was that? Is it similar to Facebook it Live? Okay. It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. It was okay. I don't remember anyone engaging me on there, but people did watch it after. Gotcha. You saw the analytics. Mm -hmm. mm. Document posts. Upload a PDF or PowerPoint as part of a LinkedIn post for the home feed 
or add them to your own featured section. Learn more in chapter 15. Ah, I did that for my resume in my featured hmm. section. I didn't, um, I don't think I, I don't think I have my resume uploaded. Cause I think because I've just been updating it regularly, I think I either uploaded it and deleted it or never uploaded But I saw that some people do have that on there. So how do you do it? You just create a featured section and you upload it as a PDF. You know how when you go to add sections in LinkedIn, like add some new section, add whatever, you can add the featured section on your personal LinkedIn and upload your resume. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check that out. Polls increase engagement and conversation by asking a constructive question by asking constructive questions with LinkedIn's polling feature. Learn more in chapter 15. I see that a lot. I do too. And I said I was gonna post a poll, but I want to make sure it's really something people will be interested in because I always when I see a poll, I always am drawn to um vote on it. Me too. I like polls. Mm -hmm. I think they're a fun way to engage, definitely. So, yes, I agree. Stories stir your creative juices by creating a short, powerful piece of content. How I haven't seen that on LinkedIn. Chapter 15. I've seen people post stories, but I have not. I don't know. I want, I'm very interested. We all look at so let me see. I'm gonna put on here polls. And then stories. Special posts. Consider such options as find an expert, celebrate an occasion, give kudos, or now hiring. Ah. Okay. And I see people celebrating stuff. I always um always always comment. Yeah, me too. Birthdays, anniversaries, mm -hmm. job changes. Emotions. Yeah. I've used the find an expert feature one time for the resume and you know, like literally they will flood your inbox. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, they do. Um, articles. Use the article feature for long form blog content. Articles and long form blogs appear on your profile and may also be featured. Learn more in chapter 16. Okay. Supercharger tip. Content features are free on LinkedIn. Yeah. Are they not free anywhere else? Right. I don't know what, what's the difference between a feature content or anything else. Yeah. Okay. Where can I post? LinkedIn posts and the home feed have become the gold standard for LinkedIn content. LinkedIn posts or status updates allow us the opportunity to meet new people, attract interest, gain visibility, and build relationships. There are three places to, pro to produce a post or status update on LinkedIn. So your home feed, AKA personal profile, group feed, or page feed, your company's page. Mm. Try the mobile app for post creation and engagement. The LinkedIn mobile app is an easy way to actively post, comment, or like in the home feed. With it, you can upload images and videos directly from your phone. Example post, text post. Look at Sandra's post below, including the emojis and hashtags. As you'll see, she tries to engage her community with a question. And she says, for my hashtag speaker friends and colleagues, most speakers have the signature talk, which is a talk we are most known for and the topic we just love to discuss. Mine is LinkedIn for personal branding, which is also the title of my book. What is the name of your signature talk? I can't wait to see them in the comments. Hashtag speakers, hashtag public speaking. Hmm. I it's feel like, honestly, huh? No, I was looking at the comments. Yeah. 
I feel like hashtags are a very good way to attract people to your posts, especially if you're trying yeah. to reach a specific audience. Absolutely. Example link post. Here is Bill's link post. This is an invitation to listen to a show. Does your state allow you to communicate with signers using a translator? Chances are they do not, except for one state. Tune in to TNT this week to hear more about that. And he provides the website. And below oh. has a picture. Oh, cute. I guess that says, maybe it's Q&A. Probably. Maybe the Q is in a different language. Interesting. OK. So um, activity section. Now view content on the view content on the profile. Are you active with the content on LinkedIn? Many people will come to your profile and then head straight over to view your content activity section. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I'm take a look at mine. <laughs> what hmm. does your LinkedIn activity sex say about you? Oh, first I was like, what is that? But now I know. When you go to your actual personal profile. Okay. And then you scroll below your name and, you know, whatever you have in your introduction. Oh, I see it. Activity. Yes. Okay. Ah, and it tells you if I shared something, if I posted something, and it tells you how many days ago I did it. Yeah, because there were some people that I was looking up on, like there was a specific industry I was looking up on LinkedIn. And when yeah. I go to either follow the person or send them a message, it'll tell you this person hasn't had to have activity in a while. Oh, I was like, okay. why they kept saying that? But now this makes sense. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So now we know. Mm -hmm. Your personal activity section includes all your LinkedIn activity and is displayed prominently towards the top of your profile. Click over and check out the full activity page for yourself or others. The All Activity tab will highlight all your interactions, including likes, comments, and shares. The posts, articles, and document tabs display your own content. Here is Bill's recent activity page. From here, you can click over to see his posts, articles, documents, and all activity. Engage with other people's content. You can be visible and energize your network by liking and commenting on what they post. Commenting with insights is extraordinarily powerful. Sure is. Yeah. Share an industry article along with your exclusive insights on the topic. As an intro to the item you are sharing, be sure to add a comment with a richer meaning or idea about the subject. Mm -hmm. Supercharger tip. Commenting on other people's posts enhances your visibility and relationships. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Never underestimate the value of commenting. If Sandra and Bill could do only one thing relative to content, it would be to comment daily with meaningful, insightful, or supportive notes. That's going to be one of you guys' challenges for January. Yeah. That I'm feeling. You know, I like to have those challenges. People I really think we should do that across, like, if we have um, business pages on different platforms, let's increase each other's engagement. Mm -hmm. um, commenting tips. Write longer and insightful comments. Consider adding emojis or bullet points to enhance the visual appeal. Remember, I have shared with you guys the link. Yeah, I have. Those, it. Um, okay, yeah. I actually bookmarked it. Me too. <laughs> um, be sure to comment back with the at mention tag. Oh, I like that. Uh -huh. Avoid links unless necessary. Avoid hijacking a post or pu pushing your own sales agenda. Congratulate friends and associates. Mm -hmm. 
Example okay. comment from Sandra. Ah, the students and staff are so fortunate to have Kathleen Lindenmayer leading the way for career success. Everything she does is amazing. Wonderful. She tagged her in it. Mm -hmm. nice. The 80-20 rule for content okay. and content. We recommend that you devote a minimum of 80% of your content activity time to engage with other people on their content. Be helpful to your community, provide thought leadership, and share useful insights. Avoid selling or asking for a meeting or worse, a job or sale. Ah. Yeah. This helpful content strategy will help you build relationships. When you actively share valuable insights and comments, you gain both visibility and credibility. Then the other 20% of your content activity should be devoted to creating your own valuable and relevant content to share with your network. Are you ready to dive deeper into content ideas? Let's go. I like that. I like that a lot because mm -hmm. I do that. Like I, um, I forget when it was I had shared. Um, it was um, social media challenge. I shared it on the um, membership page mm -hmm. for everyone to try, and I did it. And what it says is every day, um, follow and comment on ten people. And when you comment, don't just say, oh, nice. And, you know, like really add some meat to the comment. And then the person will engage with you. And what happened was people were responding back to me. So it definitely works. Um, you just have to take out the time to do it. But I'm like engaging with 10 people. That's not hard. You know, um, commenting on 10 people's um, posts the ones who are in the industry that you want to work with, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can honestly say I have two things. I always see these people asking for engagement, engagement, engagement on Facebook. And I was yeah. like, man, what? Like, it was like, if you have under 10K followers, engage down below. And I'm like, yo, that's crazy. I'm not doing that. But no, um, yeah, because so I don't want to get followers just for followers. I don't, I'm not like that. I want you to follow me because you like my content and I make exactly. it business, personal, yes. something funny, something fun. Yes. I don't do like F seven days a week, talk about notary, notary, notary. I don't do that. And yeah. um, I realize the people that I engage with the most in the industry, whether it's notary or financial services, I started seeing their posts more higher wow. up in my feed. Mm-hmm. And then somebody had said to me, when you're posting, don't just use the pre-populated responses that Facebook has. Yeah. You have your thing at least one or two sentences long to make it like, they, okay. like we just read, to make it um, more relevant, I guess, in a sense. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because when I see your your post and Donna's post on LinkedIn, I just either, I I, I don't comment, I like it. But now that I know if I comment, it would help you reach more people, I'm definitely going to do that. Because I, I see you guys' posts more now. Oh, okay. Because you've been liking them? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to do that. And like I said, I'm going to have it be a challenge. So what I'm going to do is for the first quarter, I'm going to challenge you guys to comment um and follow people who um are in the industry that you want to work with mm -hmm. and just 10 people per month and see how that works so that means you can do what two a week maybe two a week yeah you know? yeah so and it's going to be for different platforms it's not going to be like do it for all three because that's too much so i'll be yeah. like for this yeah. month um do 10 people on linkedin for next month do 10 people on alignable for the next month, do 10 people on Twitter. Next door. Like that. Like, yeah. Or, yeah. Or next door. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. We got to oh, give those oh, other apps some shine, too. <laughs> yeah. Not just Facebook, not just Instagram, because every, you know, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So, that's going to be exciting. All right. Chapter 14. 
right. Content ideas and tips for notaries. Do content ideas come easily to you? Or do you sometimes just sit and stare at the screen because you mind, your mind goes blank when you have to create content like blogs, posts, and videos? Hopefully this chapter will give you some content ideas and tips. 10 ways to, dis to uncover topics. Content ideas are everywhere. Even when you feel stuck, some helpful tips. Always consider your ideal prospects and think of ideas that might be of help to them. Ask your customers what they care most about. Review content already published on LinkedIn. See list below. Write congratulatory content to help lift up other people. Refer to Quora or Reddit to see what questions people are asking about notary work. Look at notary industry news and share your opinions or insights on what you've read. I like doing that. Discuss trending news reports that are relevant to the notary industry. Discuss the latest industry statistics. Create a word cloud or infographic related to notary industry research. Share some of the best Twitter or Facebook conversations you come across. Subscribe to Google Alerts to get new ideas about topics and news. Man. Supercharger tip. Create content that makes your clients, friends, or partners look great and at mention them. But yeah, I do all of this. You, you know, do? Um, I was on Reddit. I ended up deleting that app off of my phone, though. But um, I thought it was go back on there. I think I'm going to do Reddit. My husband is always on Reddit for his, you know, stuff that he likes to look up. And yeah. he'll, he'll share some things with me. And it's pretty interesting. Oh, but I yeah, never, it is. never thought about that, looking into Reddit. Mm -hmm. or and then when it says, you know, discuss training news reports that are relevant to the notary industry, I thought about interest rates, stuff like that. If you're into loan signings, probably would be relevant stuff that you would like to share. Um, I don't know what else is. I like share stuff that's interesting to me. Yeah. When it comes to notary, like estate planning. That is super interesting to me, and probably because my family is currently going through that with my grandmother who passed away a couple years ago. Oh, wow. So I'm always sharing estate planning stuff, so much so people reach out to me like, can you help me with this? And I'm like, well, I can't help you with it, but I can point you in the direction because I have connected with a couple of attorneys that have free consult so they can call them and get their questions answered. Mm -hmm. so I do do that a lot. So, yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. That. That's interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it says content to avoid or reconsider. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. let's see if we don't mention anything I've been posting. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from promotional or boastful content. Instead, put your expertise and willingness to help front and center. Mm -hmm. That will draw people to you naturally. Can you occasionally post about one of your own noted accomplishments? Yes, of course, but do so gracefully and surrounded with gratitude or a learning perspective. We also recommend staying away from personal content common on some other social media platform sites, i.e. Facebook. Avoid talking about your family, pets, meals, vacations, favorite politicians, religion, health, or personal and family problems. However, it's fine to occasionally weave in a story or personal reflection as long as it can be done in a professional or business context. Of course, you always need to decide for yourself where to draw the line between the very personal and the business like personal. Make your content a combination of personal and professional. Sandra wrote about a new LinkedIn feature and it incorporated it, and no, and incorporated it into her personal story. See below. Is your name hard to pronounce? I can relate to this because my original last name was Gustav. Gustafson. Wow. <laughs> I had to still pronounce it for people all the time. My name was common in Sweden, but most of my fellow Americans had trouble pronouncing it. Now, LinkedIn is rolling out an audio feature on your profile so that people can hear exactly how you pronounce your name. If you are interested, check your mobile app to see if you have the feature yet. Do you plan to use this feature? Will you use it for yourself or to learn how to pronounce other people's names? I did use that feature because my name is, you know, unique and sometimes difficult to pronounce. So 
I think I do I have my I felt that on the maiden name because nobody can ever pronounce my maiden name correctly. It's frustrating. I think I have it on here. Let me see. Yep, I do. I have it on there. <laughs> where is it though? Like, where do you find that on the on your? Because I'm not on my phone. I'm on my what? laptop. Oh, yeah, I'm on my laptop too. It's um, I have it right there next to my name. So let me see how'd you get to it. Hold on. Let me click the pencil. I'm gonna click the pencil by my name. It's right there. Yeah, name pronunciation. Ah. Oh, this can yeah. only be added using your mobile app. Oh, ah, I gotta do it for my phone. Okay. So yeah, I had added it a while ago because I'm like, oh yeah, this would definitely be helpful so people don't mess up my name. <laughs> um, well, I'm it's crazy. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? No, I say with my maiden name, it was just crazy. I just let people say whatever at, at one point. Cause What's I was your maiden name? Vixamar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit hard. <laughs> All right, let's see. Client and prospect oriented content. According to LinkedIn, 65% of business prospects agree that vendor content has a significant impact on their purchasing decisions. LinkedIn content is ideal for helping you attract the right prospect or buyer persona. Consider creating or curating content that addresses pain points or answers frequently asked questions from prospects or current clients. I do this. I try to incorporate that in my notary tip for the week. Mm -hmm. Another thing that helps is I have posted an article and it got a lot of engagement, an article about people eloping. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I have posted it. A lot of people are deciding to elope. And a lot of people like that post. So I was like, okay, all right. So yeah, definitely trying to share industry specific articles. And people like to read um, um, like case studies. Mm, that's true. And yeah. So I try to, I try to, I don't post it enough, but I definitely will moving on for next year. I have that on my list of things that I want to do. Definitely want to make sure I post a lot of relevant, industry relevant articles. Okay. And try to tie in what I do with it. Uh, let's see. Provides your unique perspective on a typical customer standard problems or issues. Educates your connections with a helpful step-by-step -step tutorial, detailed graphic, or handy checklist. Helps prospects make a mindset shift by overcoming a limiting belief, discusses industry trends, opportunities, or issues, and shares lessons learned. Possible content ideas for notaries. Offer a brief lesson on valid IDs in your state. Or discuss recent changes like the real ID rules for your state. Offer suggestions, data, or resources for estate planning. Awesome opportunity to share your network of attorneys and more. Didn't I just say that? Mm -hmm. Offer positive reviews of local businesses based on your personal experience. The difference between an expert notary and one who does not take the role seriously. The options are endless, and we have curated a list of 52 topics that you can download on this reader's resource website. I remember. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. Let me write that down. Com slash LinkedIn. All right. Let me make sure I put on here what it's for. 52 topics for notaries. I didn't have a QA today, did I? No. Mm -mm, only the book club. Yeah, we did our last one. We did it last week, I think, or was it the week before? Right. Yeah, we did the last one for the year. And the next one is January. Mm -hmm. Okay. Write content that highlights others and builds relationships. 
Bill Soroka writes, did you know that Laura Buer offers private one-on-one -on -one coaching for loan signing agents? For nearly two hours, Laura will guide you through the confirmation process, over 30 critical loan documents, how to wrap up, and what to expect when shipping, with shipping and finalizing your order. She gave away one of these incredible sessions at TNT this week. If you like your own, book it now at this link and purchase the mock loan signing option. I, I right. did it for General Notary with her. She was she did it really good. Oh, I love Laura. I love Laura. She is she is the reason why General Notary was my niche because I just didn't um, loan signing just wasn't on my radar like that. It wasn't something I took a whole lot of interest to. Mm -hmm. um, although I do do it and I'm really good at it, but at the when I first started, General Notary was my baby. Okay. That's why I, when people need help with General Notary, I am the person who loves to help with that. Mm. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. Just finishing up reading the last chapter. And this says, write content that helps your ideal client. Bill Soroka writes, as a mobile notary and loan signing agent, you're often given directions and approval to do things that might actually be against your state laws. Listen in this week as the Titans discuss your responsibility to know the difference and how to handle it. Engaging. Where to find LinkedIn content? LinkedIn is a perfect place to start your content engagement journey. It's a platform on which you can find content to curate, share, like, or comment upon. Here's a starting point. LinkedIn search fields content. Your notifications, your personal save hashtags, your hashtag communities, hashtags you select in the search field, individual activity pages of prospects, friends, or industry partners, LinkedIn news feed, currently called LinkedIn Today's News and Views, client, prospect, or partner company page feed, and feeds from LinkedIn groups. Supercharger tip. Save your hashtags on your account dashboard so you can easily access your preferred content. Beyond LinkedIn content, finding third-party content to share. You may be asking, how do I find third-party content to share or engage with? The answer is simple. Content is available everywhere. First, consider where you already spend time reading and learning. Most articles now provide buttons that easily enable you to share them as LinkedIn posts. You can find content on websites, blogs, industry publications, business publications, and other social platforms. You can also seek out content from top, um, top thought leaders and share that as well. Here are a few content sources from our industry. The National Notary Association, the American Society of Notaries, the California League of Independent Notaries, the American Land Title Association, your state secretary of state's office, real estate and mortgage influencers, financial planners, the Notary Coach blog, Laura Buer's blog, Carol Ray's content through Notary to Pro, EC Head Notary Training Workshops, lots of emerging thought leaders right now. Daniel C. Lewis's community and training platform at Lewis Notary Training Services. There are links to these on the book resource website. If you haven't accessed that yet, you can do so at www.notarycoach.com forward slash LinkedIn. You want me to read the rest? Oh, wait, hold on. Hi, Grace. We're just reading the book, almost done. We're on our last chapter. Okay. Um, what, what chapter are we on, Stephanie? Is it 14? 14. Okay, yeah, we're on chapter 14. Yeah, you can go ahead and finish up. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> other content sources. Here are some other places to look for content to share and discuss. Set up a Google alert for notary public or loan signing agent or mortgage interest rates, etc. Business or industry association, association websites, industry blogs, other social media platforms, YouTube or Vimo, social media company pages and feeds, news articles or industry publications, personal activity pages or feeds. Supercharger tip. 
Good content leads to conversations. Conversations lead to relationships. Relationships lead to a thriving business and lifestyle. Get We're on page 134, guys. Huh? For those just joining in, we're on page 134 on the, on my Kindle anyway. If you have the book, I'm not sure what page that would be. Go ahead, Stephanie. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Get organized. Content calendar success. Most of us have many content ideas around our specialty topic, but are we organized? Consider pre-planning by implementing a content calendar to save time, align with your goals, spot any gaps or opportunities, batch and manage your work, stay organized, and team alignment. How to organize your content. Establish your content goals and ideal target audience. Determine pain points and opportunities for your target. What do they care about now? Create a repository for all your ideas. It might be a Word or a Google document or a physical file. Identify your current content assets, like your blog, vlog, books, etc. Can they be repurposed or reissued? Is it valuable over the long term, evergreen or just temporarily? Plan your content for the next month or longer. Put the creation and promotion time in your calendar to cement your time commitment. Content I like that because I have my content planner before I even read the book. Yep, I was just gonna say that. So we're doing bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> content creation tips for you. Be yourself. Your LinkedIn connections will res respond best if you use your natural voice as you write. Does your content sound authentic to you? And does it sound as if you are speaking? Does your personality shine through? Have you incorporated a story or personal interest? Will your reader learn about you and your perspective? Remember, your goal is to start a conversation with your post, article, or video. So being you is essential. Consider timing. It is not necessary or even advisable to post every hour or every day on LinkedIn. Many experts insist that spreading out your post frequency will produce better engagement outcomes. Focus on quality first. In your opinion, ooh, sorry, in our opinion, sorry, it is, the best posting days are Monday through Thursday. But it is also true that there are people online at all days and all times of the week. We've noticed that people who engage on Saturdays and Sundays do so almost every weekend. So if you see that your top perspective is active on Saturdays, become equally engaged with that prospect on Saturdays as well. The first hour after your post is magic time on LinkedIn. Use that type for organic promotion and sharing to optimize the impact of that first golden hour. Supercharger tip, send relevant contact directly and privately to your prospects via LinkedIn messaging along with a friendly, helpful note. Oh. Interesting. Um, leverage has hashtags. Add up to three hashtags on your LinkedIn posts, articles, or videos. Overdoing hashtags will be viewed as spam by LinkedIn, which makes it different from Instagram. Consider using popular and relevant hashtags so others can easily find your content. As you select hashtags, consider the number of followers for each one. 
A slight tweak of wording can make a huge difference. Compare first so you achieve the best impact. In addition to industry or topic hashtags, consider a location or event hashtag. Every event will, today will typically have a unique event hashtag, so you want to leverage that for excellent visibility. You may also want to create and use a company hashtag. Your hashtags can appear within the copy or at the end of the piece. Consider these hashtags. Notary near me, notary, notary public, remote notary, online notary, loan signing agent, your city, mobile notary, notary signing agent, consider at mentions. Mention others sparingly and carefully. Not everyone likes the mention feature so try to gauge this before doing so with each person. Creating a post with dozens of mentions looks desperate and LinkedIn may penalize you if people do not respond. Mention someone when it makes them look great. Almost everyone loves that kind of mention. Appearance matters for content. Posts and articles that have a clean and exciting look should perform better. If your post consists of one long run-on paragraph, it is doubtful that anyone will want to read it. White space will make it more appealing. Since you cannot use italics or bold lettering on LinkedIn posts, consider emojis, bullets in capital letters for a heading. Numbered lists, emojis, or bullets enhance appearance significantly. For LinkedIn articles, use several images throughout the blog along with white space. 15 ways to promote your LinkedIn content organically. Send relevant content to a first level connection via LinkedIn messaging with a note. Send it out on Twitter as you post and again afterward. Post it to Facebook or other social media channels. Add content to the featured section of your profile. Notify your employees and partners. Send an email directly to a few people who may be interested in the content. Actively engage with content from other people and they are likely to act in kind. Feature it on your website. Mm, that's a good one. Create adjacent or similar material that posts to your that points to your post, video, or article. Focus on promotion within the first hour of posting. Cross post into a LinkedIn group if allowed and appropriate. Send a link to an article with a helpful note to people after you connect with them. Cross post to your company page feed. Mention your post in your email newsletter and provide a link. Cross post into a Facebook group if allowed and appropriate. Interesting. Um, repurpose and reuse your LinkedIn content. Yes, it is perfectly permissible to repurpose and reuse content on LinkedIn, but please note that it's best to change up the format, headline, image, or type of content as you do this. For example, you can write a long form article and then shorten version as a post, or write a post or article, create a PowerPoint document, on a similar topic, then point one to the other. Supercharger tip. Actively engaging and comment on other people's posts to build relationships and increase visibility. Okay. Seven content tools and resources. There are many content tools not available. On our book, 
resource website, you can find tools and resources to help you. Create your own graphics, hire a graphic designer, check and fix your grammar, create word clouds, find and leverage keywords, find free images, and select the best headline for your article. Novice, are you concerned about getting started? If you are new to content, start with baby steps. Begin by reading and commenting on LinkedIn first. Get your feet wet while you engage with your network. Engage first and thoughtfully. Become known for inspirational or supportive commenting. When you are ready, you will know it's time to start creating your own posts. As you do so, remember these three categories for content and you can't go wrong. Information, inspiration, sharing your journey and your passion. That's the end of 14. Absolutely, you can't go wrong with that. If you follow that, um, if you follow those tips, your content will definitely be engaged. Um, engaged. You know, you want to post things that are informational. Post inspiration. People need that daily. People want to see motivating and inspirational content to help them move on with their day. You know, who knows whose day you could make by them just scrolling and then they come across your post like, you know what, I needed to hear this. I've done that before. Like, I'll see a post and I'll tell a person, I really needed this. Thank you so much for posting this because the way my day has been going, if I hadn't saw this post, I probably wouldn't have smiled today. You know, so like, I do that. If I see a post like, oh my God, that made my day. And I let them know, you made my day by posting this. Thank you. And always share your journey and your passion. People often ask, why did you start doing this? I, I don't know why, but they do. What made you want to get into this? It's like, you know, the easy thing is to say to make some money, you know, but no, why, why did you really get in this? Like, well, how did you start? Where did your journey begin? You know, and people, for me, it's a long story, but, you know, for some, you know, it can be short. Or for some, it may make you ask yourself that, like, hey, why did I? Huh. Like I've never been asked that before. I've never thought about it. So absolutely. These chapters were some gems tonight. I have some um notes. Got my notes. Uh, definitely gonna be um taking a look further into that stuff. And I also I was talking to um Ayana and she's already working on her January content calendar. And I was like, that's a good idea, you know, especially with us having the holidays coming up and most of us are not going to be working. We're going to just be spending time with family and, you know, maybe just doing nothing, you know, for a change. So that will be a perfect opportunity for you to just be jotting down stuff that comes to your mind, you know. So I'm definitely going to take that time to do that so that I will be prepared to post my content for January. What would you guys take away for um, the chapters read? And Grace, I know you came in kind of late, but you know, what was your take on just the last part um, that yeah. we read? Oh God, that's a ton of information. I can't even begin. That is something. I'm not a content writer. I'm not a content writer. I know myself. That's why I never blog. Uh, but it's an objective. One of the things that I was saying, I might need to start looking into blogging. You know, because that will help me to be able to post because you can only pick up information so far. But if I can blog, it will help me, you know. But it's a process. Absolutely. It's going to be a learning Absolutely. process. And they were talking, um, I think it was in 13, about selling yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to sell yourself, you know. But you don't want to just come off as being salesy. You want to be creative with it. You know, you want to definitely... It was saying here, you want to um, mention some pain points that some people have. You know, I've heard so many stories about people experienced with notaries. <laughs> so me touching on those pain points and reassuring them that that's not the experience you're going to have with me. People want to see that. Like, really? Because, oh, my God, I've had such terrible experiences. Which I'm like, really? Like, wow. But 
People do. These, some notaries just, they don't care about the person being a return customer. They just want to get the job done and be over with. And that's the wrong attitude to have. It really is. So I agree. And when I have my appointments, um, especially if it's the first time someone is using mobile notary, they have no idea how it works because they think that they could come to my house. I'm like, no, no, no. I meet you where you're at. <laughs> you're not coming right. here. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I, I normally, when I do the, whatever it is I'm doing with them and we're done, they're like, oh, that's it. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. Unless you have other documents you need me to notarize. <laughs> you know, and it was like, oh man, I thought it was like, like such and such time. And I'm like, no, ma'am. And then I, and I asked, why would you think that? And then they would tell me the same stories that you would hear. And I was like, okay, if somebody's taking an hour to do POA, either they read in that whole document word for word, which they shouldn't really be doing, but I don't understand why it would take that long to notarize the power of attorney because it's just a few, a few stamps. It's not like you're stamping every single if thing. If that, right? If that. So, um, and now I even asked, what is your expectation, or what was your expectation of this? particular encounter because I want to get their mm -hmm. feedback too. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well we're done. We read chapter 13, 14 and uh, wait. 12, 13, 12, 13 and 14. Right. So um that's it. Um our next meeting I'm gonna try to finish this book this year. So that's why I have our last meeting being on um Thursday, I think I put. You guys have saw it. Uh, let's see. Our next one, we're going to be reading 15, 16, and 17. And then for our last meeting, we're only going to be reading two chapters on Thursday. So that should be easy peasy. So, did anybody have any questions? I, I, um, uh... I signed up for uh, the the calendar. You were saying oh, the calendar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Calendar. And you watch the video so you know how to use it. But it's twenty. It's no, I video? cannot find it. Uh, I paid first of all. You were saying you it was five dollars. I paid you gotta put the code, which in I didn't care. At checkout. The um, code. the code that was in the post. No, they didn't ask. Yeah, you had to put the code that's in the post. There was no no. I just I just pick up. Remember when you did the um, mm -hmm. when you did the live on Friday? That's how I just I just went through to you know. I didn't see no 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 post. But anyway, I was not able to download it. I couldn't see it. So you have to I save a copy of it. it. So when you went on there. I know she told me I sent an email and she said I need to not, save not like PDF, a PDF. You have to just save a copy. Uh, save, but, save a copy. That's all you did. You go on there in, in file. You click file. When it comes up, you click file. I didn't see that. Hold on. I didn't see that. I was going to ask you to share your screen. I didn't see that. Screen. Hold on just a second. Yeah, I did not. Let me see if I can find it. But. Um... Oh man. Yeah, the code was holiday sale. Yep, you have to type you have to actually um during checkout, it will have an option for you to type in a code at the bottom. And you were supposed to type in that. Otherwise you wouldn't have gotten it. So let's see. Mm. Well, I really don't I really don't care about the code anyway. I just want to get this stuff. Right. I paid for it. <laughs> You know, I just um, want to get it at this point. What you're supposed to you do. Um, you have to go, when you click on it, hold on. Let's see if I can. Ouch. I scratch myself. Okay, let me go here. Hold on my computer. When I share my screen, I just want to go slow. Mm. 
Um, Stephanie, when you did it, what what happened when you um did it after you paid? What happens? We opened in Google Excel. Yep. That's what was I, I, well, I did not even see that. I didn't even see Google Excel. It, it was telling me it had a it had Microsoft, it had PowerPoint, and it had I think Google uh, device. So I since I I didn't want to use Microsoft, so I I tried to open it with Google uh, Drive, and uh, and it wasn't still it wasn't giving me. I had I had one page of where it was saying. Um, I'm trying to find the email that she actually sent me. All right, here I go, right here. So you click on here. Oh, so I was supposed to go to your stuff. No, I did not even see that. I don't think that's where I went. Yeah, that's what you sent me that, but I didn't see click. this. You have to click this link, and then the code is yeah. holiday sale. And then you watch the video to learn how to use it. So oh. here it go. Uh uh, I did not see that. Yeah, you were supposed to follow my post. So what well, she can walk you through how to so access to it. She it. paid for it already, so she'll walk you through how to access it. But I think what happened with you is you just um. I just see, type it, it in the way you so send that when you pay I'm, for it. Then you're supposed to get a. Let me see. Yeah, you're supposed to you're supposed to receive it to your email. So make sure you check your spam and everything. Yeah, I did. I did. Here, this this is I have the email. Uh, it says uh, confirm. It did send me an email for me to confirm my email, which I went back there and I click confirm. And when I click confirm, it it took me back. To her, I said thank you for confirming, and that was it. That was it. It didn't give me sure any way sure to open anything else. No, I'm saying I'm your, on yeah, my share your screen and go to your email. Oh, hold okay, hold on. Let me go to my email. Yeah, hold on then. And let me go ahead and start recording because we are done with our book club meeting for tonight. So next book club meeting, we'll be reading chapter 15, 16, and 17.